video on how to start the Northern Lights generator on the 2001 American Tug. Uh, you do want to preheat the coils and this little symbol with what looks like the coil. You're going to go ahead and preheat that. Uh, yeah, I don't know, five seconds when it's cold. If it's a if it's been ran recently, you don't need to preheat it. Um, and you're going to hear a very l loud beeping. Um, again, three to five seconds. And then you'll go to start, toggle up. So let's go ahead and start the generator. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Hold down the coil button for a second or two. Take your finger off. And then of course you want to double check the PSI, make sure that that's looking really good. You can see that it's a cold start over here. Bolts are good. Okay. So we're going to come over to the panel now. And you're going to shut off your shore power and toggle up this uh, slide. So now we've disconnected the shore power and we're ready to start the generator or engage the generator on the panel. So we're going to go ahead and flip that over and you can see that that is confirmed now. We have 125 volts and we're barely drying anything. Let me go ahead and turn on uh, the cabin heater. Oh, the cabin heater is already on. How about the hot water tank? So we can turn on the hot water tank and you'll be able to hear the generator potentially uh, change in, uh, and, and then as well, you'll see the amp draw here go up. Okay, so you hear that there's a little bit of a draw there. You can pretty much run everything in the boat uh, off the generator. Uh, I have ran uh, both the uh, water heater and the cabin heater drawing well over 30, uh, 30 amps, more 35, 40 amps, no problem. Um, you may run into an issue if you try to run the water heater, cabin heater, and then as well, uh, if you're recharging the batteries, um, that may draw uh, uh, too much. But needless to say, um, that's how you run the generator. And then if I want to switch back over to shore power when I'm connected, I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, generator over. You can see now we've got no draw. I'm going to slide the uh, selector down and turn the shore power on. And you can see here, shore power is on. Same, same amperage uh, because we had the cabin, excuse me, the water heater on. Uh, typically, I don't operate with the water heater on unless I'm plan on showering on the boat or using it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and disconnect that. Uh, cabin heater is on. I typically don't run with the microwave on unless I'm going to use it. Uh, so there we are.